Hi, I'm George, and in this video I'll be showing you how to use Photoshop Elements to darken part of an image. On this particular picture right here, it's really too close from the foreground to the background right in here, so you don't really see that separation very well. We need to darken down the background so that our foreground subject pops out better out of the picture. Now, if you like this video, make sure you click on subscribe. Also, check out my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, so we'll be darkening down that background like that so it looks much better, much easier to see our subject. Now, to do this, I'm just going to delete my three working layers up here. There we go. Get rid of all that stuff. And our first step is going to be to make a careful selection and separate out the foreground subject from the background area that needs to be adjusted. I'm just going to also dock my picture right there. There we go. We'll start off by zooming in like that. Maybe I'll back out just a little bit. That's pretty good. And I'll be using the polygonal lasso tool right here. And I have this set at a new selection, left hand side. Feathering set at one pixel. Not that important on the feathering on this one. Now, since we're using the same picture as our background as we already have, there's a little different approach to this from what I normally do. And I'll be making a selection just inside of my subject. Normally, I select just outside. If I'm changing the background, this time I'm keeping the background so select just inside just a little bit and you'll see why as we get down towards the end of this problem here. And then just work around your selection. Take your time on this. Hold the space bar down to move the image. There we go. Look at the space bar. You can then continue your selection. Now take your time. If you click too fast with this tool, it's going to collapse the selection and you'll have to start all over again. So just take your time, work around the edge and stay just inside. Don't go too close to the edge on this. Just a little ways in is fine. That's going to work out great for us. Same thing again, spacebar, and let's move that image up to here. And on the hair, same thing again. We're staying just inside of that and work clear around towards the bottom down here. Now this is the most important part of this whole process is making this selection. Everything else is real fast and real easy. So this is where you want to take your time. This is where you want to be careful about this. Now on the bottom, you can actually go outside the picture here and do big moves like that. And again, space bar, and let's move our image. And then stay inside your image over here. This is where you may forget and click too fast. So again, take your time. Don't click too quickly. And you'll be just fine on this. And just work up and around the edge. Don't worry about it. On this, we'll be cleaning up that edge using the Refine Edge tool, which does a great job on this kind of a project up here to the hand again just inside and spacebar and move that down like that and we'll just continue to clear around until we finish our selection and then things will pick up very quickly here real fast pace once we get this basic selection done and we're almost up to the real difficult part up here and that's where the background and foreground are really very close in value so be careful through here make sure you're staying inside of that subject and not getting accidentally out into that background area if you want to work on the same picture that I'm using here, I do have a download for that. You'll find the link in the description. You can then download this picture and follow along with this same image. Okay, let's pull this down. Just about finished off. As you can see the finish right there. So I'll work around and get the last bit of the hat up here. Those little wispy things out there, don't worry about those. We'll be fixing those in just a second with the Refine Edge tool. Whenever you're keeping the background, it's really a lot easier then if you're trying to change the backgrounds, this is actually one of the simpler projects that I've done in here. Pretty easy to do. Okay, clear around. Go right back to the beginning. You'll see how the cursor changes there, a little dot next to it. When you see that dot, click at that point. That then completes your selection. Scroll over a bit here. Now come down to Refine Edge and change your output down here to New Layer with Layer Mask. I'll leave everything here at the defaults. So I'll just click on Smart Radius, leave it all the same. The top tool here, this is your Refine Radius tool. See, there's a brush size, really easy to see that. And that's a pretty good size for this. You can change your size down here, bottom left-hand corner, right down there, a little slider control, but I'll leave it at that 21. Now come so your X or your plus sign there is just outside of that edge, and then paint right along that edge. If you accidentally go inside, it's okay. I mean, if you go in like this, that's gonna be okay. Don't worry about that. And then just do this in little short strokes like this. And work all the way along the edge. Again, hold the space bar down to move your image. So this is our second pass on the edge here. First pass is just making our selection. Second pass is just going along that selection, 
with the Refine Edge tool. This will just help to blend this into that background. And again, since we're working on the same exact background, this is real clean. Okay, go all clear down to the bottom like that. And then spacebar, let's move over to this side, and we'll go up this side. And you can kind of see that edge a bit better in there because that part of it is actually darker. Okay, work up along, and again, you can go a bit faster on this, but I found that working in little short strokes tends to work better here. It gives Photoshop Elements a chance to go in and actually do that selection without having to memorize that much as you're going along. There we go. If it looks a little weird, don't worry about that. It's not going to be a problem. And we'll work right back around to the beginning, which is, of course, up there at the top of the hat. I always like starting at a spot that's easy to find so I know right where I'm going back to. Okay, back around the top. Last little bit right down here. There we go. That part's done. Now come down, just choose OK. Again, double check, make sure it's new layer with layer mask. Choose OK. There's our new layer. There's the layer mask. Let's now zoom back out to fit screen. Looks good. Back to my move tool and show the background. Now we need to change the background here. We'll be doing our adjustments on the background layer and we'll use a couple of adjustment layers. Let's start off by just darkening it down. Go up here to layer, come down to new adjustment layer and choose levels right here. Where it says use previous layer. You don't actually need to on the background layer, but I always check that anyway. There we go. See, here's the values. See how all the values are over here on the right hand side. This is the white area. This is your lights. It's almost no darks. So I'll just grab the dark arrow here. I'm going to move this in just like that. And I'm moving it in just enough to see a good separation right along there. That's the part I care about is that part. Everything else is fine. So I'm watching for that. Okay, right about in here looks pretty good. Nice separation and she's popping out nicely. Now notice as I do this, the greens in these columns get very saturated. They get very dark, very saturated. And I don't want to have that. So we're going to do that fix next. So first do this one. There we go. Nice edge is showing there. Click on the close button right there. That one's done. Let's now go back up here to layer, come down to new adjustment layer. This time go to hue, saturation. Same thing, check that checkbox right there, choose OK. And I want to bring down the saturation, which will tone down those greens. That's our middle line right here. Move that to the left to lower the saturation. If you go too far, it goes black and white, which is not bad, but I just want to kind of knock off just some of that green effect. Notice how I'm rocking back and forth like this. That's just so I can really see what's happening. I want to come down so that I'm taking out that saturation without removing the green altogether. And it looks like right about in here is pretty good. And then close that down. And there we go. We've now darkened down the background and left our foreground as it was because the foreground has real nice values in there. And again, the main thing I cared about was right in here. We now have good separation in there. So this picture has now been fixed. You can double check this by going up here to the layer mask side, click on that, right click and choose disable layer mask. There is the original. Right click on that again, enable layer mask, and there it is, the finish. And if you like this video, hit that like button, click share, make sure you subscribe, and check out my complete training course for Photoshop Elements, and the link for that is right down there at the top of the description. Okay, and I'll see you next time.